Hello, boys and girls. Let's begin our prayer service with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, Father, Son, Son, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. Today's feast commemorates the dedication of two of the most magnificent churches in the entire world, the Basilica of St. Peter and the Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls, a few miles distant beyond Rome's ancient walls. The foundations of these two basilicas are expressions of the early Christians' belief through architecture and art. If strong churches reflect a strong God, then these basilicas are all muscle. Massive in scale and a genuine museum of art and architecture, Basilica of St. Peter is located in Vatican City. It began on a much humbler scale. Vatican Hill was a simple cemetery where believers gathered at St. Peter's tomb to pray. In the year of 319, Constantine built a basilica on the site, which stood for more than a thousand years until, despite numerous restorations, it threatened to collapse. In 1506, Pope Julius II ordered it raised and reconstructed, but the new basilica was not completed and dedicated for more than two centuries. The present basilica of St. Peter was dedicated or consecrated in 1626. It was under construction for more than 100 years and was built directly over the tomb of the apostle Peter. St. Paul's Outside the Walls stands where St. Paul is believed to have been beheaded. In 1823, it was consumed by a mammoth fire. The rebuilt basilica was dedicated on December 10, 1854, just two days after Pope Pius IX had formally promulgated the dogma of Mary's Immaculate Conception. The Basilica's vast classical architecture and elegance is breathtaking. Its marbled central nave stretches out longer than a football field. For centuries, even today, Both basilicas entice a long parade of pilgrims to Rome for special indulgences. When bishops and cardinals come to Rome to meet with the Pope, they first stop and pray at the tombs of St. Peter and St. Paul at the basilicas. Only then that they personally visit with the Pope, St. Peter's predecessor. Peter was a simple fisherman whom Jesus named the rock on which the church is built. Every pope is a successor of Peter. Paul is a reformed persecutor of Christians who became a strong missionary to the Gentiles. Everyone who evangelizes and preaches acts as another Saint Paul. The majority The major similarity in their faith journeys is the journey's end. Both died a martyr's death in Rome, Peter on a cross, and Paul beneath the sword. Their combined gifts shaped the early church, and believers have prayed at their tombs from the earliest of days. In the following reading from the Gospel of Matthew, Take note on how Jesus took some time apart to be at prayer. His time with God did not close him from the world, but inspired him to help his troubled disciples. As you listen to the gospel reading, imagine yourself in the boat with the disciples and listen to what they say as the storm develops. Note how Peter's trust slips when he turns his focus from Jesus to himself. Let us listen to the Gospel reading from Matthew, chapter 14, verses 22 to 33. After the crowd had eaten their fill, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and proceed him to the other side. While he dismissed the crowds, after doing so, 
he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there all alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles ashore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them. Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. When he, when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got in the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Think, how do you react in the storms of life? How easy it is for us to distrust the presence of Jesus who always seeks our good. We must strive to keep our focus on Jesus at all times. Let us pray for a deeper trust as we hear the words, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Jesus, I trust in you. I can rely too much on myself. And like Peter, lose sight of where I am going. Help me, Jesus, to keep my eye fixed on you and to trust that you reach out to me, offering my lo your loving care and help. Take a moment to quietly think that, I'm sorry, think about a moment that you have put all your trust in Jesus. When have you felt Jesus reaching out to you with his helping hand, guiding you, showing you the way, supporting you? Reflect on his presence in your life. We'll take some time now to offer our petitions from our prayer box. Help us, Jesus, to keep our eyes fixed on you and to trust that you reach out to us, offering loving help. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We have a special prayer for my grandpa and a prayer for my uncle. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. A special prayer for all of the veterans and for COVID-19 to be over. Grace and Dylan pray for all of our friends and for all of the veterans to stay safe and for all of the teachers and classmates and our pets. And Tommy would like to pray for veterans and active duty service members in the U.S. military. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And we have many prayers today in relation to COVID. Requested by everyone, an end to the virus. Alyssa and Grace Lynn pray for everyone to be safe. A prayer to find the vaccine for COVID. Page prays for everyone affected by COVID. Addison, Maggie, and Marlo pray for family and friends and for COVID to stop. And in a special way, let us remember all of the members of our St. Mary's family and community who are directly affected by COVID. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. 
And for all of the petitions which are in our prayer book, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. And please look for information from Mrs. O'Meara and myself over the next week about how you can continue to submit your petitions online that we can add to our prayer service. We will be sending information shortly. Today, we continue to recall our deceased relatives, friends, and all the faithful departed who may yet be waiting for the full joy of heaven and purgatory. We pray for them, remembering that likewise these people being purified have the power to intercede for us too. Albert Sluga II. Lieutenant James Gregory Barnes. Carly. Louis Hinkle. Dominic Perchill. Lynn Maxwell. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them with our saints forever, for you are merciful. Amen. Charles Hartman. Sandra Benz. All our grandparents and great-grandparents, deceased cousins and friends, Mrs. Mott, Father Stirk, my great-great-grandma and grandpa, great-grandma and great-grandpa, my papa and gam-gam, grandma, papa, and my baby cousin Regan, Aunt Sue, my babysitter, my neighbor, and my grandparents. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and then let perpetual light shine upon them with your saints forever, for you are merciful. Amen. Gabby Pike, Graham Pike, Jen Pike, Steve Maxwell, Sarah Stovall, Ann Belitzik, Geraldine Horton, Alice Cost, Christy Wendell, Mike Pike, Robert Goff, Winfer Karanrana, Frank Whalen, Robert Stangray, Natalie Clemente, Thomas G- Gagan, Marnette Gagan, Ron Ruti, Maria Tr- Tremba, Nico Tremba. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them with our saints forever, for you are merciful. Luisa Mitra, Pasqualina Mitra, Saviero Mitra, Jerome Forte, Betty Forte, Michael Antos, Annie Antos, Paul Bain, David Roscoe, Tommy Forte, Great Aunt Clara, Carl Schilling, Barbara Johnson, Kyle Ewing, Fred Iannini, Evelyn Iannini, Jimmy Schiffer, Grandpa Jim Radigan, Grandma Helen Radigan, Great Aunt Clara, the eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them with our saints forever, for you are merciful. Amen. Great Uncle, Grandma, Brother, Great Grandma Brock, Twix, Nellie Slaga, Great Grandpa Adams, Ralph Holy, Grandpa Edmund Soder, Uncle Mark, Dorothy and Walter, Grandma Marilyn, Uncle Bill, Robert Switowski, Althea Simpkins, Ken Pollock, Sarah Hudson, Lucy at Hansen, Ernestine Langraff, the eternal grant unto the O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them with our saints forever, for you are merciful. Great Grandma Stasas Bublis, Grandpa Stasas Bublis, Grandpa Dale Wolf, Grandma Schaefer, 
Donna Takansik, Ron Wise, Grandpa Tran, Grandma Dorothy, Grandpa John, Grandma, Roman, Uncle Tony, Uncle Sam, Lillian Kurnitz. Eternal rest unto thee, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them with our saints forever, for you are merciful. For everyone who has passed away, especially those who may have been forgotten. Let us join together in praying on our Father for all of our deceased family members, friends, relatives, neighbors. May they all rest in peace. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And let us end with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Make it a great day and a great week.